Hey, this is Mrs. Outke Hill. Today, we're talking about circuits. Let's talk about what a circuit needs. A circuit needs a power source. It needs some kind of a path to make your, your electricity run through it. And it needs what's called a load. And a load is something that does something. It might be a light, it might be a fan, it might be something that turns on music. But this is where your electricity goes to. And when I say electricity, it's actually electrons that go from your power source through the path to the load and return back to your power source. Because a circuit is in the shape of a circle. So let's build a basic circuit. I have a battery, and a battery has a plus side and it has a minus side. If I connect my path to one side of it, I connect my path to the other side of it. Now, if I use my load to connect each of the paths together, then the light should go on. Now, this particular light an LED light and one of these is positive and one of these is negative and in my path it has to go in a circle following plus and minus to complete the circuit so if at first it doesn't work flip your LED light over so that it works so my light is not turning on and I have it touching both the path on one side and the path on the other so I'm going to turn my bulb over And now my light turns on. So it's going from the battery to the light, back to the battery again. And it flows, the electrons are flowing in a circle to complete the circuit. So let's look at it in a different way. Some of you might have some of these at home. These are called snap circuits. And it's the same thing. I have my power source, which are batteries. I have my path right here, and now I have a load, and the load is the light. And I know that I have it facing the right way because my light turns on. If I have it the wrong way, the electrons no longer flow in a circle. It stops. So now let's look at it in another way. I still have a power source and I still have a path and I still have a load. This is called a series circuit. It goes in a series because it just goes from one thing to the next thing. It goes from the battery to the path to the load to the path to the battery to the path to the load to the path to the battery. But when I put in another load, I now have a parallel circuit. So what's happening is the power is coming from the battery and it's going down two loads that are parallel to each other before returning through the path to the battery. So this is a parallel circuit. This is a series circuit.